Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Rogério Izar Neves. I am a deputy director of the Melanoma and Skin Cancer Center of the Penn State University in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And I'm here attending the second international educational symposium of the Melanoma World Society. Yesterday, we had a very interesting uh, roundtable where we discussed new uh, treatments for basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and Merkel cell carcinoma, mostly non-surgical treatments. Uh, it was discussed the drugs that are targeted specific, Vismodesgib and Sonidegib for basal cell, and the new trials coming along as a PD-1 inhibitors for also this type of tumor. Uh, was discussed is that squamous cell and basal cell carcinoma has a high tumor burden, which could be a very interesting target for PD-1 inhibition. Also, in the Merkel cell uh, field, the PD-1 inhibition has been growing with new uh, trials uh, presented at ASCO this year and was discussed also yesterday. Uh, this is a very important topic because so far we didn't have a lot of alternatives for those patients. And right now, as our field starts to expand and mostly having a second line of treatment for these patients seems to us very important. Uh, it's also interesting to see that in Brazil was recently approved the Vismodegib as a target specific drugs for basal cell and Avelumab for a treatment as a anti-PD-1 for Merkel cell carcinoma. Hopefully, very soon, we're gonna have the same drugs for treatment of squamous cell carcinomas. I think the audience uh, really appreciate this uh, presentation. We had a lot of discussions and questions, and hopefully, Brazil will be joining uh, the rest of the world in having the access to these new drugs and new forms of treatments for non-melanoma skin cancers.